In this presentation, I will take a simple term IP service and explain what it means. The entire IPIL framework is meant to improve the IT service management. So it's important to understand as to what do we mean by managing IT services. Now why this concept is important because do we look at the end product as the final customer. There are a lot of things that go invisible to us. It's like synchronized swimming wherein uh, we see everything graceful on the top but if you were to look below the water line you will see the fluttering and of the hands and the legs which may not look anywhere near graceful. Similarly in any service not just IT. There are a lot of things that go behind the stage that we do not actually are aware of or even if we are aware of we think that they would take care of themselves or someone would take care of them. For example this marker pen with which I write on the board it is a product. The board itself it's a product. They are not services. The room wherein I am standing and making this presentation is a product. So then what or how do these products end up becoming a service? So when someone ensures that this pen, this board, this room is made available to me when I need it, for what I need it, it becomes a service. And if you were to consider each entity and what goes in the background so that it becomes a part of the service value chain we would get an idea of what a service means that means someone has to procure this pin for a price which would be deemed fit ensure that the pin gets delivered and this pen is kept in this room in case the pen runs out of ink or the ink dries out the pen will need to be replaced. This room itself, someone needs to ensure that this room is vacant and then there are the hygiene factors which normally we would just take for granted. Example, the lights are working, the carpet is clean and there is a method in which I can book this room for myself. I said two things this room when I need it for what I need it. Let's assume that this room was made available to me when I needed it but there was some other person over here and I'm doing this presentation so I'm going to disturb him or he or she is going to disturb me. So for what I need it also is important. If we take our mind back to the presentation on fit for purpose and fit for use function warranty the things become much more clearer. So what do we mean when we say an IT service? So let us take a simple example. I am sitting at the customer location and the customer seeks some data that I don't have. I switch on my laptop, connect to my remote authentication server using my FOB. I authenticate myself, I am authorized go to the server where the file is located I activate the file and over here I modify it and fire it and then give the printer to the customer now I was using products the laptop was a product the FOB was a product the RAS is a product and the server on which my documents are kept is a product so when did all of this become a service? When all these products entered the value chain, value chain created by someone, it became a service. Each in itself is just a product. But by being in the service value chain, they were able to come together and generate an output that I wanted. I wanted what I wanted, when I wanted. So 
So, what is an IT service? If we were to take this example, what was I doing? The entire process of authenticating myself, accessing the document that I needed, getting it over here, printing it, was an instance on the use of technology. So in other words, an IT service is nothing but an instance of technology. And what is IT service management? It is how well this instance of the use of technology can be managed. Managed for effectiveness, managed for efficiency. For example, if I can access and get the document in less than a minute, that's very good. If it's going to take me 5 or 10 minutes to do so, that may not be good. Now, if I can do it in a minute, but I am paying twice as much that I am supposed to pay, not good. So, IT service management is managing the various instances of the use of technology in a cost-effective manner for meeting the objectives that I want and fulfilling the various considerations of fit for purpose and fit for use. A website that I quite often read is itskeptic.net and they define the instances of use of technology as transactions. It means the same and I am comfortable with using an IT service as the instance of use of technology. ITSM is all about managing these instances. The end user may really may not be aware as to what goes behind the curtain to manage. All he is interested is in the outcome or the end product. It is for the IT service manager to manage these instances of use of technology. I thank you for listening and 